That guy's both defensive. I'm gonna facade again. Yeah. Nice! Because Memeswine has to ice shard me on on Rotom. Yo, what's up guys, AFC Neo here, and welcome to a new video. 720, we were close, and some bullshit happened again. Like in the previous episode, I think I had three games, in which my Pokemon got frozen. And it always has to be my Hydreigon too, and uh, it was for some sort of reason, so that actually pisses me off. Just, just the freeze, the freeze is like the most dumb, dumb one. Because it, 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 it doesn't involve any skill, like, yeah, you get it or you don't get it, right? And for the one that gets frozen, it's just super painful. Okay, I'm gonna start it off with my Hydreigon in this one. Um, it's gonna be annoying. Uh, he has a Rotom instead of a si Toxicroak. Angela White. <laughs> don't Google, don't Google her, guys. Do not Google Angela White. I click rocks there. They always just mindlessly click U turn, so. Then at least I have my rocks up versus this guy. A skin truck comes in. And. Yeah. Seeing that he's a novice trainer, right? I don't think he's gonna go for the water type attack because he would die to my Dragon Pulse. I assume he's just gonna click Dragon Pulse, Draco, something along those lines. Or you just click Hurricane on me, bro. You are different. You are different. It is what it is, though. I'm gonna go Rotom. You're definitely Specs. him a seismic toad and i just kick a drain there i have rocks going for me he cannot kill me if he if he wants to get up his rocks he's just gonna die and then my my red i'm just spams um my red i'm just spams full switch against him so he has to swap out there but what is he swapping into i'm i'm slower than rotom and scissor so if they try to volt switch on me the fuck bro it goes into a quadruple weakness from a Quadruple weakness, he goes into a quadruple weakness. What are you doing, bro? This guy, uh... <laughs> Gina Valentina. <laughs> Guys, don't Google these names, bro. Don't Google these names. Do not Google these names. What are you gonna do? Ice, ice beam me? The rain is gonna end on next turn, so. Yeah, okay. Interesting. No rocks. No cat boot tops. No rain here. <laughs> Okay. And he decides to forfeit it. Not the game I wanted, not the game I wanted. But uh we'll take it guys. We'll take it. Definitely don't don't Google those nicknames, guys. It's uh we we gotta keep it PG. We gotta keep it PG. Like it's it's content over here, guys. <laughs> Don't Google those names, please. <laughs> okay. So, 
And you guys think I have strange nicknames. And then you might be wondering, how do I know these nicknames? Yeah, I, I'm too, I'm into the movie industry, movie business. <laughs> Okay, this is uh this is a bit annoying. Um I'm gonna start it up with me and Xiao. Cause he has a he randomly has a bronze on his team, bro. Like randomly he has a bronze on his team. I don't like this. Sticky barb, okay. Okay, okay, this bronze is useless now, however I don't switch into uh the U turn there. You got the assault fest, sticky barb trick, really, bro. Really, bro. Let me get an Amoongus. I want to see if he's gyro ball or if he's special, then I can easily take him. Going into Hydreigon now. It's likely gonna swap there. I am super weak to Kingdra now. I am super weak to Kingdra at this point, so I will need rocks versus my opponent. But at least Bronze Zing is dies, dies, which is his stealth rocker most likely. I need rocks because if I Dragon Pulse him, sure, I get a lot of damage out, but it's not going to help me against the others. Because now I'm going to be dealing with Kingdra. Without the assault fest, so that's that's not good. But if he doesn't go for a water type attack, I can make use of this. If Weavile doesn't die, at least to Dragon Pulse. Does Weavile die to Dragon Pulse? No, he doesn't. Okay. Um, I just sacked this, I think. Pretty useless at this point. I think I only need Weavile for this guy. Maybe for the Toxicrog. But I get to get... Because I think Kingdra is going to be the biggest threat against me. I don't die to, to Dragon Pills. If he goes for it, then it's whatever. He can only come in one more time, so that's good. And this guy cannot do anything. I'm just gonna go go glide score here. So Rodom is the safest play. I think Rodom is the safest play. I wonder if I even need this. Do I even need this? Because he's gonna die to rocks. Because I have I have a lot of resist to water. So he might not go for water. Maybe he's gonna click Dragon Pulse or something. And then I could kill him. Yeah, exactly, exactly. This is this is the best case. Uh, not the best case. I think Dragon Pills would have been better if he went for that. But at least I got rid of Kingdra. Bronzang is basically dead too, because all he can do is Gyro Ball versus me. If Toxic, if Kabutops comes in, I'm just gonna stay in. I'm gonna stay in on this too. Oh, the rain is gonna end soon, brother. Oh nice, I got some chip on this. Not like my Gliscar was gonna do much versus that team. And if you're a life orb, then you're gonna die to my uh, Weavile as well. Yeah, so Weavile versus the Seismic Toad. Pursuit. Should knock him out there. 
then I don't have to switch into this guy and then all his special rain sweepers are gone. And if he goes Pelipper, I can go Rotom. If Toxicroak comes in, um, I have to go into my um, into my Amoongus. Amoongus. He, has, he has no rain, so... Hidden power. Well, damn, bro. That's crazy damage. They should be life orbed. This, this, should, this should break the sub. Because he's... He has to be a dry skin. Ah, uh, bro. And he hits his shit. That's not good. This is not good. I have to go this. It has to be close combat, though. I, I need three hits. Oh, he just does this anyway. However, if he summons the rain, he could have killed me. Um, if he summons the rain, then I, I just go Rotom. And my Hydreigon will kill the Kabutops anyway. So, two substitute users. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, Pelipper comes in. And by going into Rotom here, uh, Kabutops can never sweep me. So, we just go this. I was really fortunate enough that his bronze song I got the Well it made me really weak to King Drown. Oh this is scary. This is extremely scary. Please. Go bronze on. Go bronzing. Be safe. Go bronzing. Don't stay in on me, bro. Play safe. Go Bronzong. Phew. Thank you, man. What the heck? Okay. I think Weavile is pretty useless. I think Weavile is pretty useless. Because Hydreigon is faster than... Yeah, I think Weavile... I think Hydreigon is better. So I, I just let him gyro this. Oh, he just side waves. Okay. I just Night Slash. Because I can Night Slash Kabutops too. Kabutops. Basically on his sword stance if he wants to go for it. And he clicks Stone Edge. Which is cool. Should be Life Orb too. Is he Bandit? Are you Bandit? Don't crit me, bro. Sorry, don't be that guy. Okay. These noobs, man. No, no fun, bro. At least Pelipper's gone. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna pulse there. But yeah, I effectively got rid of Kingdra. Which luckily he switched out when I pursued him. And he decides to forfeit. So 721 again. Closing in again. Uh, let's hope we're not getting frozen. Uh, next games. We are back. Okay. We found our opponent. Mammoth. Oh my god, bro. Um, I hate seeing this. It's good. Not good. That's not good. I'm gonna start it off with this guy. 13 wins in a row. This guy is. This guy means business. 
Do I just rocks here? I'm gonna flame air. I shouldn't die. But he ice punches me, and that did a. L oh, God, bro. I did a lot of sh damage, bro. Now I'm in bullet punch range, man. Like, why, bro? Now I'm in freaking bullet punch range. That's a crit, so he's not invested into... This is this is so freaking lame, man. Let's hope he doesn't have the um, the bullets. Yeah. Still getting uh, some good chip on Volcaron. He doesn't have bullet punch at least. So we just go into Mian Shao. By going into Mian Shao, he cannot go into Metagross because I can just close combat there. Forty two. Is he life warped? All of them are these days. All of them are these days. Game. And then he gets a boost. It's just it's just that insane, bro. How much is this, is this gonna do? 62 max. 62. So we're we're talking about a roll here. Okay. It crits me. <laughs> Fuck this, bro. Like legit, man. This shit is just insane. At least, at least I want this thing dead. Ah, uh, no. And he gets the burn on me. Like he gets two freaking boosts. Then he gets a burn. There, sixty-one at least. I'm gonna pursue it again. I have a red on my so. Like my my guy is useless here anyway. Is it minus one? And I think he's banded, so I'm gonna use this to volt switch. He has cussed up. Are you kidding me, bro? I. At least he used the cussed up versus me, bro. At least he used the cussed up versus me. Still, I still have the tools to win. I still have the tools to win, so. Glide score here. We still have the tools to win, but I wish I had rocks. I guess I should have considered him having uh, that option. He, sh he should know that I could have protect, so I should always crash there. This team is pretty much full HP. I'm just gonna paint split there.
It would have been much easier with rocks up. Okay. This is a bit scary. Um, we're going to go Gliscor in case he tries to trick on me. Because I don't see leftovers. Yeah, he's, he's probably Scarf. So Berloom comes in now. I'm going to clean 50. Do I go Amoongus? I'm, I'm just going to start again. He's adamant, okay? We're coming back. We're coming back. Amoongus versus the Dragonite. Got to use him. And we got to look for a poison there. Because Gliscor lives ahead. Gliscor lives ahead. So. So we need to get a poison on him. Please. Mines. He's still going to be in, fa in facade range when I knock him out. Okay, so facade will be enough to knock him out. And then it's just gonna be a mind game against the Rotom. I'm not gonna go for a double endor, because it isn't it doesn't make a difference. He's still not gonna die if I get a double endor. On the, on the turn afterwards. And I want to see if he chokes. Let's run him. Okay, let's see if he chokes. Because I can go Rotom on Hydro Pump. Exactly. Exactly. Because now I got two facades up. I'm faster than Memeswine. You're a bolt. I'm still... I'm actually in Hydro Pump range here. I think. Actually, he, that guy is bolt defensive. I'm gonna facade again. Yeah. Nice! Because Memeswine has to ice shard me on, on Rotom. Well, he doesn't have to ice shard me. I don't have Hydro Pump though. But maybe he misses. Maybe he misses. He cannot Ice Shard. He, he doesn't. He, can I, he has to click Crash on me. And he has to flinch my uh, Rotom Wash. That's, that's not the play, bro. I think he always had I think he always had to click crash because he's an, he's now at minus one. I think I'm still gonna lose actually, since I don't have is he has thick fat uh but because he had I guess I should have gone hard into Rotom there. And then use utilize pain split against him to weaken him. Yeah, I think that was the play. He's gonna weaken him, weaken himself now, but it's not gonna be enough for me. Okay. 
Did minus two. Mammoth Swine, Choice Bandit. Superpower. Plus minus two. I'm at 50. He's gonna do like 30. Then he's gonna do 20. Basically, 50, 17, it's gonna be a 2 at KO. And I'm better off, I think, paint splitting on him. Paints the planning when the time comes. I think that's the play. Cause he's he's gonna he's gonna three at KO me here. And I'm not gonna three at KO him. I don't know. I have leftovers going for me, so maybe I should win this. And I paint split here. This is a 2 hit KO anyway. Get some HP back combined with leftovers. That's gonna be enough. 21. I think I lose. Yeah, I lost. Did I choke it that much? I I guess I should have I should have paint split it. Um I could have I could have played out that end game better. I could have played out that in game better by because if I if if he had more HP if he had more HP than the pain split. Oh, uh, that's rough, bro. That's rough. Yeah, but I think my initial play should have been my initial play should have been to go hard road on there. I think that should have been my play. Because if I went hard road on there, even because he was choice locked, so if you clicked icicle crash. I'm just gonna paint split, right? Because if he flinches me, he flinches me anyway. And him clicking super power there means that Glide Score is just gonna beat him if I just swap out there. Like we played it up really well till the end, but I'm I'm just messing up messing up so much. It's really not fitting for me. But it is what it is, guys. Um I'm gonna try to win back this game. I should have won that game. There were a lot of games I should have won, but yeah, what can you do? What can you do? I'm really playing poorly in a lot of these cases, but I'm gonna pursue there. If this is Scarfed, Stealth Rock Lee, then uh, it is whatever. But I wanna have that damage on him so I can knock him out with HP Ice uh, on Rotom later. I'm gonna go Among Us here still. Be Swords Dance, that's scary, but. Uh, this is bandits. That's cool. I get the chip. I definitely want to kill Starmie somehow. Gotta look into how I'm going to do it. However, I get in Gliscor because he's gonna go for rocks. He's gonna go for rocks. Get in my Gliscor. And then click the sod, I think. Or just Earthquake. I just Earthquake here, actually. I don't allow him to switch for free. If Starmie comes in, it's better. He goes hard Weavile, that's crazy, brother. 50, 60, you man. I'm gonna go Rotom. Definitely done with this team. Um, that's for Spear. 
I'm just gonna click hit and Powerize there. In case he wants to go Garchomp. I damage him anyway here. But what is what else is he bringing in on me, right? Well, he only has the Garchomp. I could have debugged too, if I really wanted to, but... And Garchomp just gets a debug again. I would have got an extra Leftovers recovery if I think about it, but... I don't think... Leave it at that. Maybe he's gonna double here into Weavile. That would be an insane play. Yep. But I, I definitely needed HP on this anyway. And he can be banned. He could be banded. Could definitely be banded. I definitely need this for the Reloom later. So don't want to over predict there. With Garchum gone, uh, that makes things much easier. So that makes me want to sack Gliscor. Normally, normally I would love Gliscor, but I want to keep Rotom healthy. If he goes for the Ice type attack, I defog on the next turn and he doesn't get up rocks anymore. But if he Night Slashes, hurts me too. Hurts me there, of course. And it's, it has to be Choice Bandit, but... Um, And I'm gonna double back into Gliscor. Maybe he's, is he not choice bandit? Why did he nice slash again? Okay. I knew he was gonna crit me there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go into Mian Shao and we just U-turn pretty freely. I'm just looking to defog here. Defog on this though. Let me go at Dragon and click Flamethrower. Because he doesn't have a switch for it. I can definitely rocks, but he can easily spin against me. Doesn't gain me anything. However, this play does allow me to click Flamethrower on him. Maybe he's just gonna bullet me. But the best thing he can bring in is star me. But then I got damage on star me and maybe hit him with pursuit. You just have to see. I'm surprised that he double night slashed on my Amoongus. Because I know he's not. I know he's banded. If he didn't crit my Gliscor, I would have been able to get off a. Um, okay, cool. Because this. 23% damage of. That's what I'd like to see. And there's no way you're going for a psychic type attack. If you're a size shot, it's definitely annoying, but. But otherwise, I get off my U-turn. I didn't want to beef bug with Rodom on Scissor, because... Cool. I think I crit him there. So I guess the safer play would be to go Rodom. I actually didn't want to crit there, because I could have debugged on Starmie, which would have been safer. It's better than debugging on Scissor, because that U-turn is going to hurt. However, this time I am able to... Um... Oh, he's hidden Power Fire. You should always click Rock Tomb. Or Bull uh, Bullet Seed is fine too. I would just click um, hit a power fire here as he decides to forfeit. So that's cool. That's cool. Back at 721. And yeah. Um, unfortunately, under 80% win rate. Those losses are just stupid, bro. Like the previous one. Um, it's definitely my fault. I could have played that in game better. I should have just gone hard Rotom on the Mammoth Swine. Because yeah. Again, if he superpowers, then Gliscor is just going to beat him. Because uh, he has to click superpower twice, and at minus that, I'm gonna outheal him with the poison, and then Glasscore just wins.
I literally was in a winning position, but I choked it away by playing the end game correctly. But uh, yeah, thank you everyone for watching. Peace out. See you guys next time.